Hong Kong has been hit by a surge in coronavirus infections that has overwhelmed the territory's healthcare system. I'll show you some pictures from the Caritas Medical Centre in Hong Kong where dozens of patients are being treated on stretchers outside the hospital in the open air. Uh, more than 4,000 new cases were reported on Wednesday. That's a new record. Hong Kong pursues a zero COVID policy, but without the strict mass testing and lockdown seen in mainland China. Well, China's President Xi Jinping has urged the territory's leaders to take all necessary measures to control this latest surge. Our reporter Martin Yip gave me more about how Hong Kong leaders were reacting to that demand. Carrie Lam, the chief executive, the city's leader, is uh, vowing to uh, keep leading the city's effort to combat this COVID-19 uh, epidemic. Uh, and she says she will make use of these uh, blessings from uh, the capital from the uh, central government. That's actually some oddity to point out here that uh, usually when you hear President Xi Jinping giving out this kind of uh, important orders in, in China's uh, political rhetoric, you would have seen this being reported by the uh, Xinhua News Agency, the top uh, propaganda mouthpiece uh, of the Communist Party of the Chinese government. But this time it's from the two local newspaper Tai Kong Pao and Wen Wei Pao. Yet these two papers are regarded as uh, be, uh, directly uh, reporting to uh, the central government's liaison office in Hong Kong. So it's uh, pretty official. And we already have the new Legislative Council uh, two months into their uh, new role. Uh, these nine, uh, 89 out of 90 people are pro-Beijing uh, politicians, they issued a statement uh, saying the, the government, Carrie Lam's government, should heed to what President Xi Jinping is saying and do the most they can to combat the virus. So at least there's a polit political atmosphere uh, telling the government to do exactly what is believed to be instructed by Beijing.